today I just want to do a quick little video. Um, I've already opened up this laptop. It's not going to be a tutorial on how to do that. We are going to be upgrading the hard drive in this laptop. It's brutally slow. It takes about two minutes, a guesstimate, to boot up. Um, and that's, bef you know, that's not with anything in auto start. So that's just Windows 10 trying to boot up on four gigabytes of DDR3 uh, RAM and the hard drive that's in here. Now it's a decently spec hard drive, but it's a hard drive nonetheless. So we're going to be upgrading that to an MX500 from Crucial. Um, they have 3D NAND storage, so it is going to be enough. Um, an SSD is an SSD. At this point, we're going to be limited by the SATA controller on the motherboard and not the hard drive itself. So that is something to keep in mind. And since I had it laying around um, for this particular laptop, we're going to be upgrading it to 6 gigabytes of RAM. Now, if I had a DDR3 4 gigabyte stick on hand, that would have been better. Um, but this is the same speed and it's DDR3. So from 4 to 6, it's still you know going to be an upgrade for this particular laptop. So now I'm going to show you the boot up times for before and after. Um, and also the thermals because I am going to be cleaning the fan and applying new thermal place. Well, let's go. As you guys can tell, there's probably a toaster out there that can boot Windows faster than this guy over here. Um, enough said. Let's get right to it. So, you know, about the same time it takes me to make a cup of coffee um, to right around 18 to 19 seconds. You know what? This is one of the things that I try to tell everybody who asks me, oh, you know, hey, Tony, my laptop is slow. What can I do about it? This is what you need to do. You need to upgrade your hard drive. Your SSD is going to give you the most bang for your buck no matter what. So with that said, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.